Hey guys, welcome back to the page. Um, this is another Honda Pioneer 1000 five seater video. Um, I'm actually, might look funny, I'm actually in the enclosed trailer right now. I got the four wheeler up there, I got the lights on. Um, it's actually pretty cold out, so. Um, a quick update on the page. I'm trying to make my videos a lot better, and I have a gimbal now, so it'll be a little bit more still. And got some lighting going on here. Bought some lighting, bring some lighting up in here. Um, this is a video on what I take on my rides and everything I pack, and I do pack them in these tough boxes. Um, and then I also take a roto packs or a five gallon gas can and this is in the bed of the pioneer so just try to relate to where I'm at here you could you could use this for any UTV or any trail riding or anything you do um, but to start off <coughs> these uh, these boxes do lock together right here the latch and I will put a, um, at the end of the video, you can click on one of my, I have a video where I do a review on these boxes. And I'll put that at the end of the video. And, uh, but, uh, these are watertight. There's a water seal all the way around here. Nice latches, made by Rigid. Um, and just to give you an idea, this is the edge of the bed. And that's about how far they stick up. They stick up about three to four inches um, sitting in the bed and if you take them apart which I'll do right now for you kinda hard to do with one hand um, as you can see they are lower than the the bed so you can tie them down when you're riding your extra gas can if you take one um, this is just my setup everyone's probably different they, I carry a lot because I do deal with a lot of people getting stuck and you never know what's gonna come up on the trail um, but this is the outside of the boxes and next I'll show you the inside all right so for the inside you can see that big that orange piece that goes all the way around here that is the waterproof seal on the box just so you guys know um, and this box does have dividers and I'll show you once I take out everything out of it um, but right now this is how it's all packed in here you can get quite a bit if you if you pack it right if you really try and sort things out I actually have some room in here um, but to start off they do come with um, these little cubbies and in this little cubby I got, I got some well caterpillar keys um, for some heavy equipment I got some uh, I got some string this is to tie down the boxes if I my other system fails which is normally like bungees or straps um, these are just some like quick hardware store straps and I throw them in this little container that it gives it with um, this actually is in there too it's just another bungee um, I did buy this little um slime tire kit it's a um little air pump i've actually used it that's why it's all kind of funky in the package um i think you can see i'm trying not to get the light in there yep there's a little air pump um it works pretty decent actually i'll surprise but it's not that big you can fit in my hand and then i do have a Craftsman quarter inch set here. Um, I think it's like uh, 5 through 14 millimeters. Just a little one that they sell these little cases everywhere. But yet again, it's not that big. And that went in right there. And try not to get the light there. Um, on this side, I have, this was actually for my ATV kit, but I threw it in here anyways. And I got some WD-40 
It's actually wrapped up pretty tight. This is a, a little case I found that holds held tools before I got a hold of it. But now I just put some random things in here. Got a little bottle of Liberty 40 in case you need to get some water off any um, electronics or anything. WD-40 always comes in handy. A multi um, screwdriver. It's got a bunch of different bits in it. Um, this is a couple of spark plugs for the rafter that is up front there. Because um, this was the original kit I've made for it. Um, a couple of Allen wrenches and two crescent wrenches and the spark plug wrench for the spark plugs. Um, this was in here because I was riding with the rafter also. So, um, another thing I have in here on this side is a tree saw. And nothing crazy, but you never know if there's a limb in the way. You don't you, you don't want to just plow it down. Maybe you want to clear the trail for the next guy. I threw this in here. Um, or in a sticky situation. Can't hurt. And I do have in here, I actually cut a piece of tube. And I stuck a little cappy lug in there with uh, a rubber end and there's a assortment of wrenches you can see in here I'm not gonna open it up because it's a big pain in the butt to get in there I do want to make a new one of these if you do have a suggestion to put wrenches in throw some uh, comments below I'd really love to hear what you guys think or know something better because I'm always up for something better um, and then I do have in here uh, needle nose pliers with the wire cutter and a pair of channel locks. I mean, I feel like these will go a long way if you're in a bad situation. Say you break a, uh, you bust a tie rod and your tire's flopping all over when you're going down the trail and uh, you gotta rig up a piece of wire just to keep your tire straight. You can use wire cutters down there and channel locks to uh, rig you something up. And then I do have a little thing of, uh, Jumper cables for ATVs, small stuff. I went with the smaller ones. It's probably not the best bet, but they are small and compact. The bigger ones would take up this whole box, and it was, just, was unnecessary. Even if I did run these a little hot and burn them up, oh well, at least I got my use out of them. But uh, these were a must for me. I wanted to make sure, even though I do have the dual battery set up. Um, zip ties. Can't go wrong with some zip ties. Or chicken bands, whatever whatever you want to call them. Um, these are look like six or eight inches. I just threw a pack in there that's some spares I had. Another can of WD-40 actually because the other one was actually a little low. Um, smaller tree saw. Um, this is a tube I figured if you ever had to siphon some gas it couldn't hurt to have a tube. That'd probably be the worst case scenario, and it wouldn't be very fun. Um, and I actually have got caught in the rain, so when me and my girlfriend go out, I make sure I have these in here, because I want to, it's just like a one-use poncho. You just throw them on. I mean, I forgot these were in here, and I got soaked. So, these are always good to have. Um, and then I do have a medical kit. <clears throat> these in the auto section or the camping section I think yeah camping section so uh, pick yourself up some of those you never know if you get if you crash or something um, flashlight in case everything goes wrong this is a little um, energizer one but uh, that's it in my hand it's pretty small but hey you never know when you need a flashlight bug spray this is actually actually need to get a little bit more just some cutters we actually use it quite a bit this year and then I did have a this is a tire plug kit um, everything that's in it you got your plugs you got your tools to insert the plugs um, valve stem removers patches you know necessarily when you, you wouldn't use all these but it's nice to have a kit and we actually had to use this on my friend's trailer on the way up, so I was really glad I had it, and I was glad I was prepared on that. And then, last but not least, good old toilet paper. Woman will really appreciate that when you can say, hey, you want some toilet paper? Um, yeah, all that, all this pile was in this box, and I'm going to actually put all these items in the description if you guys want to know 
more about that. And on to the next box. Alright, so this is the second box that I actually have all my my rigging straps for um, towing, like if I get stuck or if I need to wench out a funny way or pull someone out. Um, again, waterproof seal. <clears throat> I do have these. Um, these were actually given to me by a family friend. These are like a rigger strap. It's a big like loop and they're really soft so when you do pull with these you're not going to really torque on anything. Um, now this this is a uh, smaller, thicker, this one that wouldn't stretch as much, but uh, this is my uh, tree hugger. You throw this around the tree so you don't have to loop your cable wench all the way around and screw up your synthetic rope on your wench. Here's just another um, same one, same one as the other looped strap. Um, and then I do have these for um, block and tackle to the tree and come back. These are the type that fold in half so I can get my synthetic line on there. And uh, I actually bought two of these. These are the Traveler brand. Um, I actually haven't even used them yet. Yeah, I got two of those in there. And then in the first box, I got a shackle. <clears throat> And that in there. electrical tape. You never know when you need to hold something and you don't want it to be permanent. Or just any use really. Electrical tape goes a long way. Um, some wire in case it breaks tie rod or something that has to be wired up. <clears throat> or temporary. Another shackle. Um, and this. Just a hook. Just kind of like a spare, I guess. And then there is a ratchet strap in there, stuffed between the boxes, just a regular tie down on your trailer. And then this side is a bunch more bungees. I have all tucked in here. That's mainly to tie down the boxes. And this is, I need my camera to focus. This would link two hooks together, or it actually has many applications. Um, for using your shackle. If you ever use one of these before, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into crazy detail. Um, my camera doesn't want to focus here. Um, and then I got a couple of dog clips here. A lot of this is for tying down or wrenching somebody out. And then I do recommend if you do have a wench, I stuff them in here. There's a couple pairs of there's a pair of gloves in here, leather, so I won't screw up my hands in case someone else has a uh, a wire winch um, and then just a, a piece of strap and then in the bottom of this one is a thing of paracord um, yet again you wouldn't be using this all the time when you go out but if you ever get in a crappy situation say you see, find someone else broken down on the side of the trail they might really thank you if you can throw them something that doesn't, it only costs you a couple bucks. And it saves them and gets them out of, off the trail. Um, and then in here I got a bunch of, there's a couple big uh, carabiner clips. These are the mountain climbing ones, so they're pretty strong. And then here's a, uh, just a small one. And here's another, uh, oh that's another, that's a steel, steel clip. Um, another little one. Then this is another pulley. Just had a spare laying around, so I figured I would uh, throw it in there. But uh, you can tell these boxes do hold quite a bit if you if you can organize it. Um, but right now I have a complete mess going. But uh, hope you uh, liked the video, and my videos will be getting better. I am going to be adding a lot of things, I should say. So. Uh, Thanks for watching. Any suggestions or how I can make this video any better, throw in the comments below. And thanks for watching.